In Romans 12, 19, Paul speaks further to this idea of not taking revenge. He says, Do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. He's quoting Deuteronomy 32, 35, where God said, It is mine to avenge. I will repay. In due time, their foot will slip, their day of disaster is near, and their doom rushes upon them. One of the most difficult urges or tendencies that we might have is the urge to get revenge. When someone does us wrong, our thoughts and our emotions can take us to the point where we justify making someone pay for what they did. It's the idea of wanting to have control and letting the person who did us wrong know that they can't get away with that. It's the kind of thing that can get out of control in a hurry. Paul says, leave room for God's wrath. God says, it's mine to revenge. I will repay. As Christ followers, we now leave this kind of thing to God. It is His prerogative as to whether or not something needs to be avenged and when that needs to happen. He has all of that under control and His faithfulness and ability to do so, to, to avenge, effectively, is effectively demonstrated throughout the Scriptures. We must be careful in our efforts to seek justice. God does a much better job of making sure that justice is served. Change begins in you. The Change Begins in You is brought to you in part by Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Patrick Allen Companies, Mitchell Tire and Wrecker in Collinsville, and Mowdy Cabinetry.